Hey everybody, Stephen Regan here, DeKalb Asgro Technical Agronomist in a cornfield in Nobles County where we have known pressure for corn rootworms in the past and just out here to evaluate where we're at this current season to help us make management decisions going ahead. So first thing to do, obviously, uh, prioritizing where we've had corn on corn or past history is where I'm going to be checking and scouting for corn rootworm. And when I get out in the field, start randomly selecting plants and digging those up. Now when I dig those up, I want to make sure I have a long tile spade or a long shovel so I can get a lot of the root mass and bring some of that soil out of the field with me also. So I'm going to take those roots uh, and those plants, carry them out of the field, and then wash them in water in a pail and see if I can float some larva and see what kind of pressure there is. Uh, and then we'll talk about some of the next phases. So when you're digging, start uh, about eight inches away from the base of the plant. That way you're making sure you're getting as much of the root mass as possible where some of that feeding would be occurring. And uh, make sure you get all the way down too as well and bring those contents out of the field. All right, so we did our digging, got our plants out of the field, starting to wash here. It's an important thing to remember, try to keep as much of the soil intact, because uh, you can have larvae obviously in there. So we wanna make sure we have those in there to float. And then when you do begin to wash them, you might need to break off some of that to start just with your hands. Uh, make sure you get it in the pail, because again, that's uh, what we're trying to achieve here. And then you can start to wash that root. And as you get most of that dirt off, then you can visually inspect it and see if there's any scarring, obvious feeding, you know, along brace roots as well as further down, um, any recovery or uh, regrowth after some feeding. So you just want to wash that up, wash the roots. And then uh, just another thing is you get a lot of soil that'll build up as you wash a few plants. Make sure you stir the bottom of that, stir that up, break up any of those clods. Um, and then once you have everything washed, and uh, stir it up and then um, you know feel like you've done a pretty good job there you just got to let it rest give it a few minutes and uh, those larvae are going to float up to the surface now this time of year we're in this uh, stage where we might find first second or third instar we can also find some that are going to be uh, in the pupating stage and uh, we're really in the window where we're going to see some emer emerged adults here uh, at any time so that's the next step this really is evaluating is there pressure in that corn on corn or historical pressure field and then beginning next week after the 4th of July, we're going to be putting out sticky traps in some of those fields of concern and evaluating how many beetles actually emerged. So they got a feed to, feed to die, but how many survived? And what's that pressure look like in those respective fields and across our, our growing area? That is going to help us make better management decisions for 2022 and better understand uh, what we need to do going forward. So if you guys have questions or have anything come up, please feel free to reach out and uh, we'll talk to you guys later. Thank you.